everybody. Please be seated. As academic registrar, it is both my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the Cambridge Corn Exchange for this morning's ARU graduation ceremony. We've all gathered here today to celebrate the success of the class of 2020. Well, what a year it has been. I am sure that there are many of you who had your doubts over the last 18 months about whether we'd even get to graduation. But you have done, you're here, and very well done to all our graduations for simply completing your studies in such unprecedented circumstances. So now that we are here, what is it all about? Well, graduation ceremonies date back to the 15th century, and that tradition has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step. 
and graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use their skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of society. As each graduand crosses the stage, they will pause, bow their head, and doff their hat to the vice-chancellor, who will respond in kind to acknowledge both their success but also their transition to the role of graduate. We will applaud them for their success so far, but also in anticipation of the contribution we expect them to make to society in the future. At the conclusion of our ceremony, the Vice-Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates to the community of scholars, and as new members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession, and that will bring our ceremony to a close. During proceedings, those graduating with higher research awards will have their hoods placed upon them by the Vice-Chancellor to indicate that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. So we can now begin our formal proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session, and I call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address you all. Vice-Chancellor. Distinguished guests, graduands, family and friends, colleagues. As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I am delighted to join you today at your graduation ceremony. And firstly, to all those graduating today, my congratulations on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. Today is a day of great celebration. It's an opportunity for each of you to take stock, reflect, and celebrate your achievements to date, but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change, to implement new ideas and new ways of working, the passion, energy, and commitment that led you to undertake your ARU degree and gave you the strength and resilience to succeed in that task despite all the challenges you have faced, including those posed by this dreadful pandemic, can now be applied to building your careers and realizing your aspirations. And whether your future lies in education, health, social care, business, law, science, technology, or the arts, with your passion and your expertise, you really can now make a difference, helping society to address the challenges that we all face, locally, nationally, and globally. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills, confidence, and determination to influence and lead your professions, to promote change, and to achieve your ambitions. As well as serving our students, we at ARU are fully committed to serving our region and the communities in which we are based. Economic development, social inclusion, business support, tackling health inequalities, these are all fundamentally important elements of our mission, transforming lives through innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial education and research. In 2020, we were announced as the chosen higher education partner for the establishment of a new university in Peterborough, due to open in 2022, ARU Peterborough. This exciting initiative will provide life-changing opportunities for many local people who may not previously have considered university and deliver a skilled local workforce that will meet employers' needs. We were also delighted to be chosen to train new officers for the Metropolitan Police Service, as well as all seven police forces across the east of England as part of a national overhaul of police training that year. 
and our students won innumerable prizes, including Student Social Worker of the Year, Student Nurse of the Year, BNA Illustrator of the Year, and the World Illustration Award. But our reach extends well beyond the eastern region in which we are based. We are a genuinely global community of students and researchers. We attract students from over 180 countries and they flourish with us because they find a second home here. And our researchers, too, have worldwide reach and impact. And research that has real, tangible impact on people's lives was given a new urgency in the pandemic. And our researchers responded rapidly to the COVID-19 outbreak by committing to research that would help us to understand and develop interventions to address the massive impact the pandemic was having on all our communities. Their work included ways into speeding up coronavirus testing, a public health study on the impact of self-isolation, and an investigation into innovative drug combinations that can reduce complications in COVID-19 patients. So in our research, as in our education, we are having real tangible impact on people's lives. And that's something of which we can all be really proud. But above all, we define our success as a university by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your support as our newest alumni because the support we receive from our alumni and our friends really matters, adding value to the education we provide our students and helping our researchers to push boundaries. So please help us to build links with your networks and your professions and spread the good word about your university. Before I close, I would please like to pay special tribute to your families and friends who have provided you with their constant support throughout your education. You and we owe them our sincere gratitude. So thank you very much. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues, the staff right across ARU, for their tireless work and professionalism and their extraordinary commitment to supporting you and all in our community through the challenges of the pandemic. So thank you very much. Above all, once again, my warm congratulations to all of today's graduands. I do hope you enjoy your day. I wish you well wherever your ARU degree takes you, and please do stay in touch. ARU is your university for life, and our success and your success are inextricably linked. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, thank you. So now we come to our main business for today's ceremony, the presentation of those receiving awards. And I now call upon Pro Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Nigel Harrison, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Professor Harrison. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Foundation Degree in the Sciences, Assistant Practitioner, Nursing, Stephen Marshall Chen. Judy Gornwall. <laughs> Molly Crofts. <laughs> Angelita Colco Aspina. <laughs> Janelle Rennie Crone. <laughs> Tambi Sassi Kugayo.
<laughs> Joanna Elizabeth Mytham. <laughs> Lisa Ann Norris. <laughs> Christopher George O'Brien. <laughs> Kay Louise Wheeler. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Midwifery, Melanie Adidapo. <laughs> Amelia Baker. <laughs> Jessica Balmer. <laughs> Keely May Kane. Also receiving the Provide Outstanding Student Award, Alice Jessica Clark. <laughs> Kirsty Clifton. <laughs> Kira Caitlin Cooper. <laughs> Amber Jessica Cornish. <laughs> Remy Ella. Denton Chandler, Charlotte Inchbold Abbey, Gabriella Florence Island, Dana Jensen, Sarah Jishu Dasan. Megan Lisa Jones. Florence Miller. Emily Ann Murphy. Natasha Jade Oliver. Kirsty Emma Louise Pacey. Chloe Elizabeth Price. <laughs> Ebony Georgia Reed. <laughs> Hannah Rachel Reynolds. <laughs> Isabel Rose Riches. <laughs> Paige Leah Sorrell. Charlotte Louise Valence. Also receiving the Zeta Killick Award, Jody Dawn White. For the award of Bachelor of Science Nursing Adult, Michael Henderson. Judith Marie Yakamba. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing, Mike Joseph Colossa Abilgas. <laughs> Christiana Adjay. Deborah Oparbia Agbo. <laughs> Athikar Ali. <laughs> Lydia Beatrice Allen. <laughs> Sadiq Al Muwakat. Jennifer Megan Annes. Astrid Lionel Assi. Nana Yaadomi Ayirakwa. Jadine Ayepe. Pei. 
Sophie Ann Blow. <laughs> Kerry Bridgman. <laughs> Janet N. Brown. <laughs> Bethany Buchanan. <laughs> Emma Jane Burfield. Claire Catton. Sarah Louise Clalton. Tabitha Coleman. Chloe Copeland. Megan Alice Crabtree. Jessica Jane Davies. Justina Aluchi Daimud. Argel Dobson. Jasmine Doe. Cynthia Ojioma Oko Tomeno EGMB. <laughs> Casa and Etienne. <laughs> Madeline Jane Flat. <laughs> Natasha Louise Fletcher. Eleanor Gadsby. <laughs> Callie George. <laughs> SEO George. <laughs> Rossa Yvonne, Yvonne Jade Hatt. <laughs> Morgan Jade Hood. <laughs> Happy Hayabosa ha Hammer. <laughs> Rupa Kamai. <laughs> Michelle Louise Kavanagh. <laughs> Kath Langler. Eduardo Junior Lasco. <laughs> Jibem Isola Tola Lawanson. <laughs> Tegan Louise J. Lawson. <laughs> Jinta Lagut. Som Kumari Limbu. <laughs> Daniel Stephen James Maycock. <laughs> Just Mel. <laughs> Fatima Maya. <laughs> Shuma Maya. Samantha Abbey Mortiboys. <laughs> Olivia Mucumba. <laughs> Annette Nosamba. <laughs> Size. Saiza Nalovu.
Colleen Enna Morello Nakor. <laughs> Hamdi Nur. <laughs> Hamba Pletz. <laughs> Junkala Ray. <laughs> Deborah Roberts. Shafi Gruhomu Tali. <laughs> Tawanda Samyan Yada. <laughs> Benjamin John Scullion. <laughs> Lucy Ann Searle. Imogen Sleeman. Violetta Gabriella Sund. Elena Junkivik. Marianne Ugwu. Oily Villa Buenzi. <laughs> Abigail Georgia White. <laughs> Laura Helen Wilson. <laughs> Bethan Emily Wright. Elizabeth Yabo. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that partially completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Professor Harrison, thank you. We have many distinguished academic staff at Anglia Ruskin University, and I should now like to ask one of them, Head of School, Dr. Matt Webster, to come to the podium to offer a few words of reflection. Dr. Webster. Thank you. Graduates, as a group of professionals, you have shown determination, courage in adversity, and a willingness to support those in need. But to everyone here that knows you, I assure you, this is not a surprise. No one chooses these professions on a whim. No one here has picked the easy option. You all share the same bond, the desire to put others first. Well, today, we put you first and we celebrate your achievements. The challenges that you overcame to be here are unlike those faced by any group of graduates before you. You should take pride in that. If maturity is the capacity to endure uncertainty, then you leave here today 10,000 years old. No one could have predicted the challenges the world has faced in the past 18 months. But even in the darkest times, there have been moments of light, moments of connection, moments of compassion, moments of support. As those charged with delivering care in whatever capacity, you will recognise these moments the moments when you understood, just briefly, how much of a difference you will make. May that understanding of the light you provide never leave you and drive you forward in the dark times. We are so proud of you. The future is uncertain, but uncertainty is at the very heart of human creativity. When we talk of the value of a university of education, we celebrate the awards you received today, but buried within those academic awards, is the legacy of the transformative journey that you have all undertaken. That journey has an impact in areas which are only indirectly measurable. Your adaptability, your problem solving, your confidence. Today is as much about recognising these areas of growth as it is your subject mastery. Your certificate is a physical symbol of these positive changes which would so easily be missed otherwise. But there is one attribute demonstrated here which stands above all others, and that's commitment. 
the commitment to set out upon a path you knew was going to have obstacles, that you knew was going to challenge and test you, but you committed to it anyway. As academics, we were here to support you, but the journey was all yours. Today is the end of this journey, but it's not the end of your achievements or of your commitments. You now embark on a new set of paths, ones that will challenge you and test you, but also let you grow. Take those skills you developed here into this world, use them to support those in need and each other. Think fondly of your time at Anglia Ruskin University, advocate for your professions, go forward to leave your disciplines into the future, but never stop creating that light in the darkness. Thank you. Dr. Webster, thank you. We now continue with our main business for today's ceremony, the presentation of those receiving awards. And once again, I call on Pro Vice Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Nigel Harrison, to return to the podium to complete the presentation to the Vice Chancellor of graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Professor Harrison. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to continue the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing, Child, Abby Rawlings. <laughs> Emily Laura M. Andrews. <laughs> Georgia May Bailey. <laughs> Harriet May Baker. Chloe Marie Carswell. Lauren Cavell Davies. Maxi Sky Foster. Catherine Jane Goff. Amy Rhiannon Holyfield. Kerry Elizabeth Hollington. <laughs> Stacy Rose Lambert. Grace Monimview. <laughs> Oyin Dabola Olu Luo. <laughs> Emily May Swanell. Jade Christina Tumbler Brown. <laughs> Sophie Louise Watchtham. <laughs> Emma Elaine Willoughby. <laughs> Emily Wharton. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing, Mental Health, Mojid Adiwell Agbal Bayaka. <laughs> Juliana Anjmi Ayamba. <laughs> Omayimi Emily Baba Tund. <laughs> Ada Ease Esther Bowden. Elizabeth Chida Waya. <laughs> Yitond Taiti Leo Daniel. <laughs> Joanne Louise Gibson. <laughs> Hannah Holtz. <laughs> Gabrielle Oakayod IG. Samuel Gainen Gonai. Johnson T. 
Taiwo Kola Wol. Jacinta Moto. Emilia Miradzi Kwa. Tembi Kyle Nernin Bell. Aramide Anthony Oladeen. Ken Paul Nana Osi Poku. Anthonia Pascal Omiji. Rosie Pedlo. Rabson Pulasi. Sarah Sinclair. Moses Wazwa. Samantha Louise Webb. Hannah Elizabeth Webster. Vivian Akame Yosha Shi. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Nursing Practice, Deborah Elizabeth Fab. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Practice Clinical, Joseph Peter Smith. For the award of Master of Science, Children and Young People, Lucia Golu. Eugeon G. For the award of Master of Science, Clinical Nursing, Nicole Carey Stevens. For the award of Master of Science, Nursing, Adult, Ruth Magambo. Anita Masango. Maureen Omiyi Yuande. Laura Marie Price. Obakunli Babatund Salaru. For the award of foundation degree in the sciences, leadership and management in health and social care, Miles Tobias Wilson Bent. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Management and Leadership in Health and Social Care, Nicholas John Archer. <laughs> Henrietta Janello Duran. <laughs> Melissa S.S. Forrester Frame. <laughs> Rona Louise Googe. Kevin Hill. Ono Ryud Okodaya. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Operating Department Practice, Melissa Albay. Lisa Anohina. Grace Marie Critchley. Maria Josie Dia Calderon. Ellen Nahr. Daniela Quigley.
for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Paramedic Practice Science, Paramedic Science, Natalia Hathedon. <laughs> Olivia Jane Bell. <laughs> Eleanor Lucy Carve. <laughs> Paul Courage. <laughs> Angela Gillian Sarah Croucher. Anna Dicker. Joshua Evans. Sophia Maria Fugard. Eamon Hegarty. Ruba Last. Claudia Masham. <laughs> Leah Christine Morris. <laughs> Jordan Paradise. Yeah. Jonathan Shaw. <laughs> Lewis Smith. Catherine Anise Taylor. <laughs> Zoe Woodywis. <laughs> For the award of Diploma of Higher Education, Paramedic Studies, Jade Hashley Bell. <laughs> Stephen Anthony Board. Daniel Charles Borham. <laughs> Megan Isabel Brown. <laughs> Georgia Nicola Carroll. <laughs> Louis James Clark. <laughs> Gareth Morgan Cobley. Maurizio Dawes Ferro. <laughs> Alison Rose Dickens. <laughs> Claire Dunham. <laughs> Lucia Rose Francis Wint. <laughs> Francesca here. Graham Peter Hillman. Jack Hilton. Emma Louise Hind. Thomas Hooper. Samuel Matthew Jackson. Fiona Catherine Kinsella. Christian Anthony Kirk. Christopher David McKenzie. Amy O'Neill. Samantha Leander. Ross Andrew Stevenson. For the award of Master of Science with Healthcare Management, Laura Bocin Liari. <laughs> Kate.
Caroline Cooper. Wilma Castillo. Jonathan Moses Camara. Iman Aurelio Kassan Ivakas. Rachel Ursula Kay. Vasiki Kurupai. Queen Mugenzai. Betty Nayayu Gona. Boside Marion Alloway Pormile Okeke. Katie Emily Prosser. Sarah Correa Gomez Santos. Nisan Sala Stumbo. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Nursing Adult, Nena Anai. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Nursing Adult, Tobake Chukwu Isaac NB. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present those who have been awarded higher research degrees. For the award of professional doctorate with a thesis entitled Understanding Therapist Variables and Analysis of Online Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Transcripts, Sarah Elizabeth Baitop. For the award of professional doctorate with a thesis entitled Being a Student Nurse, Role Duality, Issues for Healthcare Assistance Undertaking a Work-Based Learning Pre-Registration Nursing Programme, Christine Sykes. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Practitioners' Experiences of the Application of the Systemic Unit Model, Marlene Bezua Den Hout.
for the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Understanding Spiritual Intelligence in Healthcare, Raising Awareness Among Practitioners, Richard John Hayward. Vice-Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. <clears throat> Professor Harrison, thank you. Congratulations to all our new graduates. Very well done indeed. Can I ask you now just to join me in um, applauding the success of those students who couldn't be with us today for whatever reason. We should recognise their achievements as well. We are now nearing the end of our ceremony, so I should like to call on the Vice-Chancellor for one final time to address all the new graduates. Vice-Chancellor. So now, please, will all those who have been presented to me on this stage this morning, will you please stand? As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas, and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all. Vice-Chancellor, thank you, and that brings us to the end of our proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony closed, and can I now ask everybody to stand for the academic procession. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.